हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर एट आई एम बी एस पांडे योर फिजिक्स लेक्चर स्टूडेंट वी हैव फिनिश विथ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्राइंगल लॉ इन लास्ट लेक्चर टुडे वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑफ वेक्टर That is the vector analysis. Today we will study uh, geometrical addition. How to add two or more than two vectors? The first we will study the triangle law, then parallelogram law. The first will be the triangle law. Second will be parallelogram law. and the third will be polygon law those students have not understand very well about this triangle law today they will try to understand they must pay attention over here we are going to start with the triangle law of vector addition okay what was the actually the statement of triangle law vector addition we have studied the triangle law of vector addition the two sides of two vector can be represented two if two vector represented by the two sides of a triangle in same flow all right like this way i am having the vectors again this is the three vector i am having if one side i have put over here and the second side in 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 such a way that both are in same flow then the third will be the vector remember you cannot make this resultant like this one why because this all will be in same flow resultant should be in opposite flow and the second thing which was very important what i told you the result head of resultant will meet with the head of any vector and tail will meet with the tail of any vector so in this way you have to find the resultant all right my dear student look at here i'm giving you here the some example suppose the vector a and here the vector b the vector i can put this arrow anywhere over the vector okay of course it should be at the top but i can put anywhere to understand all right now try to add this two vector to find the resultant symmetrically okay let me solve the one question this one is the a now where should i put this v at the top in this way or at bottom exactly the answer is at bottom so that both could be in same flow now this dotted line is the resultant okay now our next aim to put the arrow over this resultant so where the resultant should be in upward or in downward and the answer is in upward so this will be the direction of resultant my dear students you will write this is as r equals to a plus b all right now i'm giving you class work actually after my lecture you will show it in group by solving here you are in market of vectors there are number of vectors are there okay number of vectors are there in that market you can see it is a vector a b c and all right it is d and uh, e you will pause the video and try to draw over your copy this one okay and then you will solve this question now question you have to show the resultant of the following vectors okay find the resultant so the resultant of following 
right the first one a and b you have to add a and b and so the resultant second a and c and this way you have to make the all probable combination for example you all are science student remember a b a c a d all right next will be which one tell me a e yes a e next will be tell me which one which one yes b c then next one will be b d all right in this way you have to form i'm telling you you will pause the video and try to listen and make the proper combination on so all the vectors using triangle law the next one is b e then c d c e and then d e these are the probable combination okay now i'm rubbing this one okay let me here ask let me take a simple test of yours okay very simple test although we have discussed but the very simple test my dear student okay this is the arrow these are the arrow let me draw the arrow by red and this way this way this way okay i hope all are clear vector 1 2 3 4 all right and this diagonal 5 and this diagonal 6 all vector i have represented now i'm going to ask which one will be the represented first one in triangle 1 2 6 1 2 6 which will be the resultant okay arya try to tell me the answer which will be the resultant the answer is yes two will be the resultant how you can see one and this is six this both are in same flow and this is in opposite so this is the resultant all right so this two is resultant in same way my dear students try to solve again i will not give you much time i will give the answer okay in one four and five yes hurry up which will be the resultant which will be the resultant in one four five one four five which will be the resultant okay let me give the answer the five will be resultant yes five will be resultant how look at here am i right the five will be resultant yes student five will be resultant no this is not the resultant four will be resultant be careful look at here one this is five both are in same flow so this these two other vectors and then this four will be the resultant yes okay now next test third one in two three five hurry up two three five which one is the resultant and you have to go for the next one also the next one is three four six fourth question three four and six yes my dear students tell me the answer which will be the resultant here in two three five so two three five which one is the resultant and the answer is three try to find by yourself answer is three now in this one try to find the answer by yourself okay let me wrap this one remember students here if this is the resultant you can see the head is going to meet with the head and this tail is meeting with the tail always remember for the resultant only the head will meet with the head of any vector and tail will meet with the tail of any vector all right so let me wrap this one we have done with the 
practices over the triangle law now you can find you can find the resultant using triangle law if you are able to understand here very well in a uh, uh, the way and the triangle law vector equation, then it would be very easy for you the parallelogram law and polygon law. So let me move for the parallelogram law. Parallelogram law. We know that the parallelogram having the four sides, all right, the properties, it is the four sides and the two consequent sides are parallel to each other. All right. Now, the statement for the parallelogram law, we will break in two parts. That's the statement of parallelogram law. What is that? So kindly write down students. I'm telling you the statement and you have to write by yourself. And then I'll explain. Two vectors, if two vector represented by any two side any two adjacent side of a parallelogram then either diagonal then either diagonal will represent the resultant of that two vectors this is the first statement and the second i mean the first part of the statement and the second all the three vectors that is two vector and one resultant must be originated from the same point you have to place the two vector and resultant in such a way all the three is originated from the same point okay this is a very simple parallelogram law okay let me give you an example if you're having the two vector like this one a and b okay this vector you have to add this two vector using parallelogram law okay put this one vector a now you have to put the b in the way both should emerge out from the same point all right so you have to put b over here you can see a is also leaving this point and b is also leaving this point you cannot put b over here if you'll put b over here then it will looks like triangle law now you have to make the diagonal but remember for the parallelogram you have to draw the parallel line like this one from here and parallel line like this one from here so let me draw the parallel line i'm not very well in, in drawing so you will make by yourself in correct way my dear students all right it is b virtually and it is a virtually all right and this is the diagonal now which will be the you can see we are having the two diagonal this one also and this one also but we will take this diagonal as resultant why in a statement is it clear very clear that all the three vectors should be origin from the same point that's why this is the resultant all right and what we'll write actually my dear students we'll write here the r is equals to a plus b okay remember triangle law is mother of all the laws that is the parallelogram law and polygon law you can see here the triangle also okay you can see here clearly the triangle try to cover any half triangle any one of the triangle sorry half not but half of this parallelogram law parallelogram any one of triangle you will find the triangle law is equally valid okay let me just hide this one if I'm hiding this one, you can see my data student. If I'm hiding this one, you can see this is obeying the pile, uh, triangle law. Thus, A and virtually B both are in same flow and thus R is resultant. Okay. Yes. It means all the vector I have given here for the homework, all the vector you can add with the palogram also. Okay. Using palogram law also, you can use all that vectors okay let me do one more question to clarify one more question all right okay one more example this is one vector a and this is another vector b we have to add this using parallelogram all right my dear student okay so let me put this is a 
and B should be originated from the same point. It means it has to be originated from the same point. So let me draw. This is B. I have to make the palogram. So I'll try. As I told you, I'm not very good in, in drawing. So you can draw by yourself in brighter way. Here. This is the virtual A vector and this is virtual B vector and the resultant. This is the resultant. I have given here the arrow over the resultant in such a way that all the three vectors looks like originated from the same point. Now if you will, this is the resultant and we can write here the R as A plus B. If you will hide any of the triangle, you will find the triangle law is equally valid. All right. So this is the parallelogram law of vector addition. Now I am going to explain you the polygon law. This polygon law will be used very, very feebly in your course. But you should know about that also. Here the polygon law. Using that polygon law, remember using triangle law, you can add maximum two vectors. Using parallelogram, you can add maximum two vectors. But using polygon law, you can add many vectors. Okay, more than two vectors, three, four, five, etc. So you can add more than two vectors. To you to add more than two vectors, which law we should use? Yes, it is polygon law. Here, we go with the polygon law. Now, the polygon law, actually, the statement of polygon law, if many vectors are represented by the different sides of a polygon in same flow, then closing side of the polygon will represent the resultant but in opposite flow. Remember, like this one, I am making here the polygon. This is the polygon. All the vectors should be in same flow. You have to place, actually, the vectors like they are in same flow. Here directly I have made the diagram. Suppose you have been given here the number of vectors A, B, C, D in this way and E. Then the closing side. Okay. What I had the vectors after adding, I have finished with the vectors. Now I don't have the vector to just make this one is close. But this will close by a resultant the closing side represent the resultant all right and the resultant all the vector you can see in the same flow but this resultant will not be in same flow it will be in opposite flow so this will be the resultant now try to recall I have told you that all the three vectors uh, all the two vector uh, law here yeah, the law uh, triangle law and the parallelogram law both can be seen by the triangle law so we are going to find here the triangle law but before that we can write here the r as vector a plus b plus c plus d plus e all right now we are going to find out a plus b plus c plus d plus e is equals to r here look at him from here can we draw here a line to get the resultant of a and b yes and by triangle law you can see this is nothing but a plus b all right now again try to find out you can see this vector which is a plus b now this is now a plus b behalf of this two okay this is a plus b and this side both are in same flow and this will be the resultant and what will be the uh, value of this one it is a plus b plus c yes now you can make a dot line over here you can see my dear student now this two side are in same flow and this is the resultant and what is this side actually this is a plus b plus c and this is d then a plus b plus c plus d it is the resultant now what is this side actually this is the a plus b plus c plus d and this is e it means using this two you will find the resultant and finally, we got A plus B plus C plus D plus E as resultant. So you can see here the number of triangles are there in this polygon. It means polygon law is also a combination of many triangles. Alright, so this is all about the 
लॉज ऑफ जोमेट्रिकल एडिशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स ओके नाउ विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक माई डियर स्टूडेंट रिमेंबर इन पैलोग्राम आई हैव गिवन यू होम वर्क टू एड ऑल द वेक्टर्स वॉट वॉज आई हैव गिवन इन ट्राइंगल लॉ दैट इज द सेम ओके एंड रिमेंबर यू हैव टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन यूजिंग प्रॉपर पेंसिल This is your golden time, my dear students. Never neglect any homework. This is your golden time. Use your pencil, proper pencil. Give your time and try to make all the triangle and parallelogram. Don't avoid. Yes, sir. I am now very excellent to make all the things. I got everything. Okay. Do the practice. That will be very, very beneficial to you, my dear students. Never neglect any homework. Okay. Now next. Uh, we are going to study here the displacement vector and position vector. This is a very very important. Actually, this entire vector is very important for not only the standard eleven but for the physics, as I told you. And you will study in mathematics also, my dear student. Here, the displacement vector and position vector. All right. Displacement vector. For the position vector, okay, my dear student, you might have remember the unit vector I have discussed. If you are using the three axes, three axes, here the x, y, z. So in the direction of x, we use to represent the direction i cap. Am I right? And J cap and K cap. Okay, you should remember. We'll use this one. We are going to practice over this one, my dear student. Okay. Now, this was only to recall here. Before starting the displacement vector or the position vector, let me here do very simple questions. Okay. Yes. You know very well about the. Coordinates. If I have given here the coordinate two three, what does it mean? If I have given here the coordinate two three, what does it mean? It means to reach this point from origin, you have to move two units over x-axis like this way, and three units over y-axis. Am I right? Yes. This one is x, and this one is y. And if I ask, so this point P directly from O, you will make this line. Okay, it is clear to everyone. Yes, it is very clear to everyone. Now the position vector and the displacement vector is very simple. Very very simple. I'm going to represent in vector. I'm going to represent in vector this point in space or the plane. first we will start our discussion with the plane x y this is the point p x y all right it is a coordinate x y and this is the point p you have to represent a displacement vector to move from o to p how we have to move actually we cannot fly directly from o to p we have to go with the proper channel we have to go with the proper axis to move from o to p we have to move x unit along x axis so this op will be written as x this is the vector okay this is the vector but what is this this is the magnitude not the vector and we know that A vector should have magnitude as well as direction. So, could you find the direction of this x? Yes, while we are moving x unit, in which direction we are moving? Along i cap. So, we'll write here the x i. Now, plus we reached to this point. Okay. Now we have to move up. So, we are going in which direction? Y axis. So, it is z cap. How much unit we have moved? Here the y. So it is y z cap, and this is the answer. Okay, it was very easy, na? No? Yes, it was very easy. In same way, we will do some example today, and next day we will have 
very fun will very enjoy to solve such questions which is based on vector this vector is very interesting my dear students remember this is not very tough you will enjoy if you will pay your full attention over here this is z y axis and this is x axis this is origin all right let me write the a b c t here the a this point b c d here e f and g all the side this structure is a cube okay cube of side a all right now i am asking the first position vector o e o d what will be the position vector o d could you write o d yes look at here carefully you have to reach to the point d from where you have to reach to the point d from o so try to move from o to d we you cannot fly directly to d from o you have to just pick proper axis to go to the point d so you will move from o to f then f to d or you can choose another way you can go to a then b then e then d okay and so will be same okay how much long how longer and how much you are traveling in this cube over this cube it doesn't matter the answer remains same if you are using properly all right so the sort path we will decide we are not full you have to move from o to d so the o f and f d o d will be o f plus f d all right my dear students and what will the answer o f unit is a along x axis we are going i cap plus f d we are moving along the y axis so it will be a j this is the answer how much is it is now now the second one try to write the answer i am writing here every you have to write o e hurry up open your pen and paper and start writing don't wait for my answer d a now you have to move from d to a and the fourth one it is c g okay i will give the answer of this all but i'm giving you a few minutes to solve by yourself and there will be homework also on the basis of this one this is your practice all right my dear student okay now let me write the answer o e from o to i have to move e so i have move o f it is a i plus f d it is a j plus d e so a k remember it could be plus or minus but i am writing always plus y i am moving towards the positive axis here if you are moving from d to e look at here this is the z axis and this will be the positive k if you need to move from a to o that is e to d then you will have to write minus k all right because i am moving from d to e that's why it is plus k now this is the answer now d a d d d d d where it is yes d and a a a a this one okay d f in which direction i am going downward if i go in upward then it is plus j but i am going downward so the minus j so minus a j minus a j now d f f g it is positive so the plus a k and g a so it is minus a i all right now c g the last one okay c g c where it is yes c and g is here so c d a i d f minus a j and f g it is plus a k and these are the answer 
All right, my dear students. Now I'm giving you a homework. Let me wrap this one. Okay. Next day we'll study how to break a component of a vector. How to break component of a vector. That is the very very important. But before solving few more question of displacement and position vector, we will study in very detail about this position vector, my dear students. Remember. Okay. So this is your homework. Again, you have to find the position vector. I will ask z axis, and this is x axis. There is a story behind putting this x, y, z also, my dear students. You cannot put x, y, z anywhere. Okay, this is 7 unit. All right, this is. Mm, three unit and this is four unit along the y-axis it is going four unit this is the seven unit remember this one is the seven unit and this one is the four unit and this one is the three unit now let me write the name a b c d a b c d e f g all right now the question part of fact question one it is OE second OB third BF fourth DA 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 fifth mm. C G plus uh, F A sixth E O minus D A all right so this much this is your homework okay student do till here we'll move in next class the next topic or the displacement and position vector okay my dear students thank you very much